So you've decided to go for your NYSET fire alarm systems level one certification. That's great. And you've probably looked online for guides, right? And uh, most guides out there will probably just basically show you this or present you with this or present you with a question, right? For example, like this one, what is the maximum number of 12 gauge CHHN wires that can be installed in one inch GMT? And those are the multiple choice choices you have, right? So most guides will just basically do this. They'll basically just give you the answer, right? So in this case, the answer is 26. Now, that's not really going to help you much. Why? Because you don't know how to or how that particular guide or that particular author arrived at that answer, right? So this is where this guide comes along, right? So because this guide goes into detail as to, as to how to arrive at that answer. For example, here, what is the maximum number of 12 gate THHN wires that can be installed in one inch EMT? So here is the, instead of just showing you the answer, this is showing you how to go about getting the answer. So use NEC 2011, okay, go to the Annex C on page 744. Locate table C1 for EMT and scroll to find THHN on page 746, right? That's basically what we're going to do. Here's the NEC 2011. Okay, so we're going to go to um, Annex C, which starts here. And we're going to go to table C1, locate THHN on the type of wire. Okay, THHN is right here. Okay, next step is to find the conduit size, which is one inch, and match it with the wire size. And there's the answer, 26. And this is the step-by-step -step way of doing it, right? This is the way you study for it. So that's a, uh, an, an example of an NEC question, right? Here's an example of a NFPA 72 question, okay? If system impairment occurs, the owner must be notified blank within blank, okay? So here is the step-by-step -step solution on how to arrive at the answer. Use NFPA 72 2013, go to the index, look under impairments. Which, is, which says to basically consult this uh, section of the code, right? Consult section 4222, and you're basically gonna arrive at your answer D. This is basically how this book is formatted, right? It's an actual study guide. This is how you actually study for that test. So uh, good luck, guys, and uh, hopefully you'll pick up this guide.